Notice the phone that we have on screen has a speed dial configured. It's a speed dial for BR2 Phone 1. Let's do this. Let's create another speed dial, but let's enable a busy lamp feel speed dial. This is the native presence feature that is built into Communications Manager. And what it's going to allow us to do is visually see the on hook or the off hook status of the phone that we are watching. Here's how we do that. We start out by creating a new phone button template. Let's do that. Let's go under Device, Device Settings, and we'll select Phone Button Template, and I want to create a new one. I'm going to create a new one, and it's going to be based on the standard phone button template for a skinny speaking IP communicator. That's what we're using, so let's select that. I'll make a copy of it, and let's create one where button 4 is going to be a busy lamp field speed dial. Let's save that, and let's go into line 4, and let's change it from just a regular speed dial to speed dial BLF busy lamp field speed dial. Let's save that change. Now let's go apply that brand new phone button template to our phone. We go under device, we select phone, let's do a find, let's go into our phone 4, that's the phone that we're working with right now, and right now it thinks button 4 is being used as a speed dial, but we can change that. Let's go into the phone button template and select the template that we just created that makes button 4 a busy lamp field speed dial. Let's save that and after we save it, we see that we can now go to button 4 and add a new busy lamp field speed dial. Let's say that I want to monitor the status of phone number 2001. So that'll be my destination, 2001, and I'll give it a label of, let's say this is Kevin's phone. We'll say Kevin's phone, I'm monitoring, great. And I'll save that. Something else we'll want to do, just because a phone has permission to call another phone, in other words, the calling search space setting on a phone is giving us permission to call another phone, that doesn't necessarily mean that we have permission to watch that phone. It doesn't mean we have the permission to watch the on and off hook status of that phone. So in addition to the calling search space that we use to say, where can we call, there's another calling search space that's used for this native presence feature. And here it is. It's the subscribe calling search space. We want to make sure that this calling search space is also going to allow us to reach that directory number that we want to watch. Well, in my case, directory number 2001, it belongs to the HQ internal partition. And if I select the calling search space of CCS HQ internal, I should have permission to watch that phone or watch that directory number. Let's save that. I'll go ahead and reset the phone while we're at it, make sure these changes take effect. And let's do one other thing. Let's go over to our enterprise parameters and change or at least verify one setting, and that's BLF for call list. It's disabled by default. You'll notice that I've already enabled it. By setting a BLF for call list to enabled, what this allows us to do is to monitor the watched directory number, not just by the busy lamp field speed dial on our phone, because, I mean, we've only got so many buttons, we're not going to be able to view that many phones using the busy lamp field speed dial button, but if we've called this person, or if they've called us, and it's been recent, we're going to be able to see that in our call history. And by enabling BLF for call lists, this is going to allow us to see that on hook, off hook status in our call history. It is enabled for us, so we should be in good shape. Let's take a look at that phone right now. And now we see we have our label of Kevin's phone. Notice that the icon looks different for the busy lamp field speed dial versus the regular speed dial. This gives us an icon indicating that this phone is on hook. What if we go off hook? If I go off hook, we're going to be able to see that the light on that button turns red to indicate that that destination, that directory number is off hook. We see that the icon changes as well to indicate that it's off hook. And when I go back on hook, we see that the light goes off. And we talked about enabling the busy lamp field feature for call history lists. Let me show you that. If I go into my directories and look at placed calls, I think I've called this number. Yeah, here's the number 2001. And notice, looking at my call history, I see that icon. I see that it's on hook. And it's dynamic. If I go back over to that phone and if I go off hook, you see that it dynamically changes not only on my busy lamp field speed dial, it also changes right there in my call history list. 
again, the big advantage of this is this is going to allow us to monitor additional phones, phones that might not be important enough to us to show up or to be used as a busy lamp field speed dial button, but we can still see their status in the call history list. This is an example of the native presence feature built in to Communications Manager Server.